Hi everyone, welcome to church. Uh, we think it's a great privilege for us, for you to be here, and we thank you for coming along today. As we come toward the end of June and July, there is so much happening. There's Thanksgiving Sunday. We're going to give thanks to God for all that He's doing among us. Um, Kids Holiday Club, major time for our church. Women's dinner. We have guest services happening as well in, in August. So much happening for now. Welcome to Church News. In a month from now, we're holding an MTS information night, the 8th of July, 7.30 at night in the lower hall. We'd love you to come and find out more if you're interested in getting involved yourself or if you're interested in supporting the MTS program here at this church. Um, if you want more information, come and chat to me after the service, but there'll be more information coming in the next few weeks. Thanks a lot. Kids Holiday Club is coming up in July, July 10 to 12, and then Celebration Sunday on the Sunday. We hope you can come along. Maybe you can help us to try and find time traveler Tasmania Smith. Where is he? I really love this church, and that's why it's such a joy to call Chu and Gabby Anglican Church um, our home. Um, I just want to tell you a few things that's really exciting that's happening. Um, the 8 o'clock service is growing, we really love what we're doing and the over 55 group has started and some exciting things are happening. I want to tell you about our Thanksgiving Sunday that's coming up and it's going to be such a joyful time for people to give and meet and talk to each other. I hope that you will be able to uh, enjoy it as much as we're looking forward to. Uh, so youth group has undergone some really exciting changes this year. So we've split into senior and junior youth group, uh, which has been really beneficial for our youth group. We've had a massive influx of year five um, youth come through, which has just seen a massive boom in our youth group. Yeah, I think because I started giving regularly um, by um, internet banking when I was um, actually working part-time and at uni. And so I think the transition into full-time work was actually a lot easier than I had expected because I had already um, got into this mindset of giving regularly. And so um, when I uh, secured a full-time position, it just came down to the fact that um, one day I had to sit down um, and look at how much I'm earning now um, and just rethink my finances and um, rethink how much I'm giving now um, based on um, the fact that I have a larger monet monetary income um, than what I had when I was at uni and studying. Now that we've been through it and we've made some changes and implemented those changes, it's been really good to see people getting involved. So the two uh, new morning congregations, it's been, it's been great to see both of them uh, go really well and, and experience growth in people coming to them and having new people come along and, and be involved and want to stay. Uh, that's been really encouraging. When I heard about the financial problems that we were having, um, I guess in the beginning I, I was shocked um, because our church has grown so much in the time that I've been here and it surprised me that we'd got to such a bad place financially. Um, so to, to have our church growing and then be going backwards financially just made no sense at all to me. I just couldn't understand it. Thank you to everyone who has made an adjustment already. In June, we are having this special Thanksgiving Sunday, an opportunity for us to give thanks to our great and awesome God, but also an opportunity to increase our joy in giving. Thank you for partnering with us in the gospel and may God bless you with joy and thanksgiving. 